They are trying to scam you. They're trying to swindle you. There's no way around it. The insurance company and the pharmacy name is exactly the same. They are the same people. As a matter of fact, you call the same number when you go to call to refill or to set up a medication, anything like that. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to become part of the Transplant Helper community. Hey folks, welcome to Transplant Help again today. My name is Jim Merle and I thought I'd bring you up to date on some of the situations I'm dealing with as far as my medications, the drug coverage that supposedly is gonna pay for those medications, and more specifically how I'm being forced to go with a mail order pharmacy, Optimum RX, which I totally, totally despise. Now, you may have seen my preceding video back on last month, roughly three or four weeks ago, where I was talking to you then about how my wife's insurance recently changed and they moved our drug coverage, the medication part of the policy, over to a new company called Optimum RX. And if you're not familiar with Optimum RX, let me summarize. They're a mail order pharmacy. They are everything but Optimum or Optimal. They actually are a huge inconvenience. And to be honest with you, I do not trust them at all. And that comes about from so much of the other experiences I've read online, so much of what I've seen you say about that whole insurance situation, and the fact for sure that when you've got an insurance company called Optimum RX and they require you to fill with an insurance, uh, with a pharmacy that has the same exact name, Optimum RX, you know you got a problem. They are trying to scam you, they're trying to swindle you, there's no way around it. The insurance company and the pharmacy name is exactly the same, they are the same people. As a matter of fact, you call the same number when you go to call to refill or to set up a medication, anything like that. It's terrible. So last month, I finally, after being forced to do so, I went ahead and got an account, went ahead and filled my medications for the first time. And for the most part, even though it wasn't very fun to get started, my medication did arrive on time and it worked out okay, with an exception. And that is that when they sent it out to me, they sent it via FedEx and they actually just kind of pulled up to the door and tossed it on the porch. So I didn't appreciate at all the fact that my medications were basically left on the porch there for who knows what to happen to them. But I certainly did not appreciate the fact that I wasn't really given another option. Now, with a disclaimer saying they did offer me to have a signal to receive those medications and I chose not to do that because you know as well as I do if you do that and you happen to not be home when they're going to deliver which could be as unpredictable as waiting on the cable guy uh, yeah if you miss that delivery they may make it a second attempt maybe even a third attempt but after that you've lost your medications and, and we don't have time to go back and to reorder those or get those sent out again so I knew it would be best just to have them be left there without a signature in the hopes that I thought like everybody else who delivers to my house, they might stick it between the screen door and the main door or something, not toss it on the porch. That's the best I could get. But anyway, did not like that at all. Fast forward until this month, February, it was time to reorder my medications. And I decided, hey, I'll just jump on the app right here on my phone, on my tablet. I'll reorder my medications. And hopefully based on all the work I put in last month, everything will go smoothly. Well, I was totally wrong about that. When you click on the app, it actually just takes you to the website, which I could have looked up in my browser for that matter. But it takes you over to the website, which to my knowledge, doesn't seem to have any place whatsoever on it where you can refill your medications right there online. As a matter of fact, I searched it head, head to toe, uh, head to toe, or whatever you want to call it, all over. I searched all over and couldn't find it. So if that exists, please comment below, let me know about it. So I decided, hey, you know, anybody could do that, but how about this? I picked up my bottle, looked on the bottle, saw the prescription uh, numbers and all that, and saw a phone number that I could call directly to supposedly order my medication. So I went ahead and did that, called the number that was there on the bottle. It actually took me to Optimum RX, which was fine, that's what I assumed. I assumed it was going to take me to their pharmacy to get the refill. That's not what it did. It turns out after talking to this uh, online or uh, I should say recorded type service, it finally sent me over to a real human being. They asked me all the information all over again, you know, name, birthday, phone number, address, prescription numbers, um, I forget, account numbers, all this junk that I had to scrounge to get. They asked me all that. After a while, I finally said, well, that's good. Now we're going to send you over to our pharmacy so they can refill your medicines. I thought, what? I was trying to call the pharmacy. Nonetheless, apparently I wasn't talking to the pharmacist to begin with. So I get transferred over after a long hold and whatever. I get over to the pharmacy. 
start trying to talk to the pharmacy. And I say trying to, because I don't know if this is an international company or not, but I do know they seem to use a lot of international employees. Uh, it was really hard to communicate with this person. Obviously, English was not their first language, and whatever their language was, it was obviously not my first language or, or any of my language. I don't have any other. And so it's hard to communicate, but I started to tell them what was going on, had to repeat everything I just said. Then once I did that, they in turn told me, said, well, have you ever filled this before? I said, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking they're looking in their system. They said, do you have a prescription for this medication? I went, wow, okay, I just filled this last month with you with a prescription with 11 refills. I don't understand how you're not seeing this. Then they turn around and ask me if I had an account. And I'm like, you just took down everything, including my account number, to supposedly look this up, and now you're asking this. Uh, fast forward another five minutes on hold. They come back, said, oh, we got you taken care of. We're going to go ahead and refill these medications. And then they paused and said, oops, we're not going to be able to get you the ProGraph slash Tacrolimus generic form that I use uh, because we're out of stock on that. So I immediately began to tell them, look, you're out of stock. You know, what's the deal with this? I need the medication. I need it as soon as possible. I'm almost out, whatever. They then in turn decided to put me on hold again to supposedly look across their uh, warehouses all over the country to identify if they had it anywhere they could ship from, even though they did not have it in that particular place, wherever it was I was talking to and who knows where. Um, they then came back on the phone several times back and forth to update me to say, we don't have the medication. We don't have it. So I went into a rant at that point. Now I was nice. I don't, I don't, I don't cuss or swear, whatever you want to call that. I, I don't do that curse. I don't do that. But I was giving this person down the road pretty well. And they kept trying to interrupt me and I wouldn't let them interrupt. Finally, when I got done with what I was going to say, they then in turn said, uh, Mr. Merle, uh, we could potentially... Uh, give you a what do they call it I want to say waiver what was the word it wasn't waiver um, an override we could give you an override and you could have this filled at your pharmacy of choice I thought wow that's what I've been trying to do for two months I want to fill with my pharmacy UAB specialty pharmacy I don't want to fill with mail order so I told them that'd be wonderful I asked them how we do that they then in turn said well it'd take three four or five hours why to call you back but assured me that they would try to get the override assured me they would try to get the override based on the fact they were out of the medication. So I think, yeah, this is great. I post over on Facebook that potentially I could be getting an override. Potentially this could be a breakthrough for anybody who's having to deal with these people because maybe we're getting our medications from the place where we want. You know, we deserve choice, right? I mean, we're Americans, huh? Anyway, um, I waited maybe 20 minutes. The phone rang again. It was Optimum RX, so I got excited. I said, this is either going to be yay or nay, but at least I'm going to get an answer. Person other than said, Mr. Merlo, I want to inform you, we found the program. We have it in stock. It's not here, but it's in another facility. We'll send it to you. My reply to that very simply was, no, I don't want it. Actually, I would rather have the override. I want to go back with my pharmacy. I deserve that choice, so I don't want to refill it. And they said, well... You know what, if you don't refill it with us today, then you know we may not be able to get it shipped out in time and you'll run out of medication. I said, no, 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 because if I can get the override, I can get the medication, or I can go in and pay cash for a few pills or something, I I'm going to be able to get out of Optimum RX, so I think, so I'm turning down the medicine. Then they in turn, what I would call threatened me, and said, if you don't let me know now that we can charge your debit card and send this order out, we won't be able to get it out by 4 p.m., which is the cutoff, and then we probably won't be able to get it out to you for a long while, and we may be out of stock again, and uh, you won't get the medication at all. And I thought, whoa, did you just threaten me? Did you just threaten me that if I don't feel right now at this moment, then I may not even get it? And they basically affirmed that, yeah, that was the case. I got really upset then. I said, you know what? I don't care. I don't want this medication from you right now. I want the override. This person then in turn telling me another threat. She said, well, I'll go ahead and call the override department and let them know that um, you refuse the medication and that'll cancel the override. I said, no, 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 no. You're not going to call the override department. I don't want the medicine right now, but I don't. I want the override. I don't want you doing that. And she said, oh, yeah, we'll do that. Said, we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, take this order out of our system. We'll call and let them know that we offered you the medication. It was in stock, 
and that um, you refused it so there's no override. Well, I was really mad then. This person then hung up on me. That's great customer service, right? They hung up on me, and uh, I was sorry I made it. I didn't want, know what to do, but I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe the override department will, will call back in a little bit or in a few hours and let me know I got the override, and I'll go back with my preferred pharmacy. That's what you would hope would happen, but I didn't hear from them at all yesterday. So, I kind of just, out of the fact that I'm so stressed out with everything else in life, I kind of just had to let it go for the night. I went ahead, got everybody in, situated in bed, got in bed myself, went to sleep, you know, woke up this morning, and uh, lo and behold, pretty early this morning, the phone rings again, and I get a phone call from this person who says, uh, Mr. Merlot is gonna let you know that your medications are ready uh, to be shipped out. We just need your permission to charge your debit card as well as to ship these medications out. Now, at that point, I'm scrolling into my banking app thinking something seemed off last night and surely now, and I realize they've already charged my debit card without my permission, even though I told them not to, and they probably have already shipped the medication. So I thought, and so I got pretty angry then, but I held my peace. I said, look here, um, I need my medications. I want this override. They said they didn't know anything about an override, but they had the medications ready to ship. So they'd be here on Friday. Now that's two days from the recording of this video. I said, well, Friday's not good enough because I need my medication sooner than that. I'm gonna be out because of all this uh, red tape stuff. They in turn told me that they could possibly ship it out on Thursday, maybe even possibly on Wednesday, which is just tomorrow. Uh, I said that, yeah, Wednesday would be fine, but I'm really, really fed up with dealing with any of this. I'm fed up with dealing with any any of you. Uh, no, no harm to this person, but fed up with all of it. I'm aggravated, really aggravated. They went ahead and charged my debit card, which they said by their own policy they would not do unless I gave them uh, spoken permission to do so which is aggravating that I have to do that. You know, they knew I, the medications were on order. Why can't they just ship them? That's what I say. But they proceeded, charged my debit card, supposedly, which they had already done, but they charged my debit card $27, said they have it shipped out by Wednesday. And that's kind of where the story is on hold for right now. But overall, let me say this, I hate Optimum RX, okay? Maybe you, maybe you feel the same. There's no reason why there should be so much red tape. Why we do not, as, as, naturally born Americans or, or any American. I don't care how, how you became an American. If you're an American citizen, you deserve choices. You deserve options. You deserve to be able to get health care that you pay for in the place and in the way that you want. And we deserve to get to choose. But here, we're not being able to choose because these insurance companies now own the pharmacies and they're making the, all the choices. They're making all the decisions and we no longer have a choice. And heaven forbid, and it's coming as these big conglomerates are now purchasing up, pur purchasing up hospitals and, and facilities now, they're gonna be in control before long. The insurance company's gonna own the pharmacy, they're gonna own the hospital, they're gonna own the doctor's offices, which is already happening. CVS Pharmacy already has its own built-in doctor's offices and everything else. Uh, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a huge mess. And so I hope and pray that what I'm going through that you're not, but I know better, I'm sure you are. So I hope that you'll be willing to share this video. Let people know about your experiences too. It's not my experience that's gonna change the world. It's all of our experiences that will change things. But just, again, thank you for watching today. Until next time, stay stronger, friends.